welcome back to Creative's Kitchen guys and today we are going to do some chicken strip fried chicken strip to go with salad so these are the size and the chicken I'm using I'm using um, boneless um, chicken thigh and that's how small I cut them so I'm going to season the chicken strip now to let you see what so first I have some fresh grated ginger and I'm going to use that on my chicken strip today and some fresh grated garlic and I'm going to rub that in with my hand unfortunately I cannot get any food gloves um, so I have to use my hand today so I'll rub that chicken garlic and ginger in first and here we're going to add some season to it so this is all purpose season and some garlic powder so chicken season and chili and rub that in Look, smell lovely so as you rub that in to the chicken you leave that for rest for to marinate for about half an hour and then we're going to go ahead and coat it and fry it. So I'll leave that all in. And there we'll marinate that chicken. And so now I'm going to make the butter for the chicken strip. Because remember we're going to fry it. So we have one egg here. And there's a little black bit in the egg. I like to take the black bit out. I really don't. We're mixing this chicken season into the flour. Just plain flour and I'm not going to drop, I'm going to put the egg into the flour and mix it in. It's not cake, it's just a butter making. I'm making it so easy and simple, I just dip the chicken in it and we're going to have a tablespoon of white wine vinegar into the butter I might need to add a little more water or milk into the butter to get it more um, it's not finished mixing yet and what we are going to do, just dip our chicken in. Mix our butter, and this is what we're going to add our chicken in. Egg, milk, and chicken seeds, and, um, so, and white wine vinegar. And now we're going to fry our chicken strip. As we have our chicken, we're going to take our chicken strip, and we're going to put it in the butter, in the oil. So we're gonna put the butter all over this chicken. And we're gonna just dunk them in that oil. You can dip them in some dry flour as well to get the butter, a lot of butter on it. So we're gonna take these out and dip them straight into the hot oil. It won't be long frying because they're very tiny strips. So this is how they look. They are covered in the butter. I put in the oil to hot. I'm using olive oil to fry my. Um, I'm gonna deep fry it in the olive oil. So um, just put in the olive oil to get heated. I'm going to put the chicken that battered. And what I did, I dip it in the butter, then in a, in the dry flour. So I remove them from the butter and add them to the dry flour. And that's the one from the butter. So we're just going to dunk them all into the hot oil and leave them to fry. Here we go guys. This 
lettuce or um, most of the chicken strip I put in now and I'm just turning them over you can add more oil to your pan to cover them all but unfortunately I don't have enough oil to cover them so I have to turn them but it's best if you have a lot of oil in the pan That's one side already frying. So the very, I sliced them very thin. Guys, so this is the chicken strips, and they they are done now. They done fried, and this is how they look after they fry. As I show you the ingredients, just follow each step, and you'll get them the same as this. Fry each side for three minutes, so it's six minutes in total to fry them because I cut them really thin and also I have a lot of butter in them so and they're really nice and delicious serving these with salad today hello guys now my chicken strip is done and we are serving this today with um, salad and it's also fresh beetroot and I'm telling you this is really lovely and taste I'm just gonna break chicken dips nicely done and, you, and it's yum mmm it's delicious give this recipe a go guys.